Hi, uh, welcome back to Forestry 101. Uh, today we're going to be talking about forest inventory and why forest inventory uh, is important for us uh, as foresters uh, as well as uh, forest and woodland owners. And so forest inventory is really a systematic uh, collection of the data within our forest uh, as well as the information that's contained within that forest uh, so that we can assess it uh, and analyze it for, for our different management objectives. In forestry, we often call a timber inventory a timber cruise. Uh, and cruises can be used to visually assess uh, the timber and determine potential risks, uh, whether that's uh, insect and disease vulnerabilities, uh, wildfire risk, or any other uh, risk to perturbation. Uh, we can assess that during a uh, timber cruise. Uh, additionally, we can uh, combine our timber cruises with uh, wildlife surveys uh, and uh, determine the number and type of wildlife uh, found within that, within that forest. So a timber cruise is really a sample uh, of the stand. And often we use uh, plots to help us uh, with these samples. So generally when we're doing a uh, timber cruise, uh, this is gonna include uh, measurements that will help us estimate uh, merchantable volume. And so we'll take the DBH, so the diameter at breast height. Uh, we'll take the merchantable height, uh, generally a number of logs, either eight foot or 16 foot logs. Uh, and then we'll calculate, uh, rather subtract uh, the defects that are found within uh, that particular tree. Uh, some trees have uh, frost scars or fire scars, uh, or they have kind of little knots where there used to be branches as the tree grows. And so these are little things that affect uh, the quality of the tree and the grade of the tree. Uh, and thus uh, impacting how valuable or, or how much that, that particular tree uh, is worth. And so when we're taking sample plots, we have uh, a fixed area plot or a fixed radius plot. Uh, and generally that means that it's a fixed circle. And so we have uh, an area that we're sampling. Generally, uh, we're either sampling a 10th acre plot or a fifth acre plot. Uh, and so we can calculate the area of that plot uh, and then uh, calculate the radius that it would take to sample that, that particular area. And so a fifth acre plot uh, is a pretty large plot uh, and that would have a radius of about 52.7 feet. And so you'd have a plot center and you'd stick a stake or a flag or, or a stick at plot center and then you'd walk out uh, a tape measure 52.7 uh, feet uh, and then you'd swing all the way around that circle 360 degrees uh, and you'd measure every tree found within that circle. So every tree was within, within uh, your plot. So plot size is, is important when we're trying to calculate a per acre basis uh, or, or, a, or, a, or a per unit area basis, right? So the area of the, the forest tract, if we want to calculate uh, or estimate all of the standing volume uh, in our particular woodland, uh, we need to be able to um, expand uh, or extrapolate that data from the plot level uh, to a per acre and beyond uh, estimate. And so if we have a fifth acre plot, uh, we'd simply multiply by five, right? So we have a fifth acre, so five is our denominator. Uh, five is gonna be our expansion factor uh, for multiplying to a per acre basis. And so we take the amount of volume uh, in that particular uh, half or excuse me that fifth acre and we multiply that by five and we can say this is an estimate of the volume or this is an estimate of the number of trees or this is an estimate of the density uh, at a per acre basis and then we can again expand that to a larger area say we're working in in 30 acres or so we can again multiply that number by 30 uh, to get an estimate of of the area of our uh, our total uh, tract of forest or our woodland. <clears throat> and so if we had a 10th acre plot, uh, our expansion factor would be 10, right? So we'd multiply that by 10 because a 10th acre plot is smaller than a fifth acre. So we'd need to multiply it uh, by 10 this time to get a per acre basis. So finally, that leads us to the question, how many plots should I take? Uh, and that's not really an easy uh, question to answer um, because it really depends on uh, how variable 
your woodland or forest is. Uh, if you have a lot of heterogeneity, that being a lot of different species and pockets of species and different sizes and different structures, uh, both vertically and spread out horizontally across your woodland and forest, uh, then you'll need to increase the number of plots uh, to, to be uh, statistically uh, accurate or significant in your uh, estimates of what's actually contained in the forest. Uh, if you have a really homogeneous stand, that being similar species, similar sizes, similar uh, densities across the, the forest or woodland, then you can uh, really get away with taking fewer plots to still give an accurate, uh, robust estimate of what's contained within that forest. Uh, and so a general rule of thumb is to measure around 10% uh, of your forest. And so if you have a uh, 50 acre woodland, uh, then 10% of that would be about five acres. Uh, and if you're taking fifth acre plots, remember uh, we'd have to take five plots uh, to calculate uh, or to add up to one acre. So we would have to take five times five. Uh, we'd have to take 25 plots, uh, 25 fifth acre plots to get us five acres or 10% uh, of a 50 acre uh, woodland. So we need to determine the size of our trees. And so we take a measurement called uh, DBH, or diameter at breast height. And so that's about 4.5 feet uh, from the ground uh, up on the tree. And so we take uh, a diameter uh, of that using uh, a logger tape. And so here I've got a logger tape. And so I pull the two ends together and I can see I've got about 21 or 20.1 20 uh, inches in diameter for this tree. <clears throat> Additionally, we can use what's called a Biltmore stick uh, to help us uh, estimate uh, the size or the, the diameter of the tree or the DBH of the tree. And so we've got uh, a calibrated cruiser stick here uh, that will give us an estimate of, of the diameter uh, at breast height. And so we put this uh, stick, the Biltmore stick, up against the tree. Uh, we hold uh, the stick out uh, about uh, are exactly 25 inches. So these are calibrated to be 25 inches from our eye. And so uh, we hold this 25 inches uh, and then we look, we line up this edge to the side of the tree, the edge of the bark. <clears throat> and then we look through uh, on this side and we can see uh, again, I'm getting right at about uh, 20, uh, to 21 inches uh, for our DBH. And so this isn't as accurate of an estimate, but it helps us give really quick estimates uh, moving through our forest and doing our, uh, our plots. When we're measuring the height of a tree, again, we can use a couple different instruments. <clears throat> oh, we can use uh, this Merit hypsometer, uh, which is calibrated again on this uh, Biltmore stick uh, to help us get an estimation uh, or estimate of logs. And so you can see here on this scale, uh, it's got from zero to one, one to two. And so these are the number of 16 foot logs when we're standing 66 feet away from the tree and we hold the stick up uh, perpendicular to the ground and then we look up the tree we place this end on the at the base of the tree or we could put it about a foot off the ground uh, which is typically the stump height or where the tree will be cut uh, when it is uh, harvested and hold that up and we can calculate the number of logs by looking at this we can also use uh, this laser hypsometer uh, to help us measure tree heights or merchantable height uh, of the tree. And so if we use this hypsometer, we're looking through, we're taking a couple different uh, angles to where we see the merchantable height uh, and then to the base of the tree. Uh, and then it uses some lasers where it shoots the horizontal distance to that tree then it calculates the angle looking up and then the angle looking down. And so we're using some uh, trigonometry equations to calculate uh, the height of the tree. It's all contained within this little device here. Uh, and then we can uh, calculate the number of logs within that particular uh, length uh, of, of tree up to the merchantable height. 
Ultimately, if you're a landowner or a woodland owner, uh, you can work with a forester to come up with a plan to inventory your forest uh, to have a statistically significant, robust uh, inventory of your forest so that you have a good idea of what's out there, the value of your forest, uh, what's contained in the forest, uh, which will really help uh, ultimately with uh, you uh, meeting your management objectives for that particular uh, forest. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you learned a little bit more about forest inventory uh, and why it's so important that we sample our forest through taking plots uh, that will help us get a better idea of what's contained uh, out here in these forests and woodlands. Uh, the more we know about the forest, the more we know, the more information we have and data we have, uh, the better we can manage uh, and meet uh, our management objectives uh, and reach our management goals. Uh, and so uh, please reach out with any questions to UK Forestry Extension. Uh, and until next time, I uh, hope you're well, and we'll see you later. Thanks. Bye.